What's up, YouTube fan? This is Johnny from 88 Rotors. It's just another day in the life of, you know, the... <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Johnny. Now give the mic back to me. I'm not the greatest at this, but hey, this is what I do. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's video is gonna be of two vehicles. First one is the FJ Cruiser that you see right here. And the second one is the Tacoma, third generation silver Tacoma that we're doing a King setup on. This FJ Cruiser right here is gonna go with a Bilstein and OME lift setup. We're also gonna be installing some wheels and tires on it. So keep watching to see that. Any FJ Cruiser fans? Who thinks they should bring the FJ Cruiser back? Drop a comment down below and let's talk about this. And next up, we have this silver third generation Toyota Tacoma double cab with a long bed. Some of you guys have requested more videos of long beds, but it's just that we don't get that many. It's not as popular, but they're out there. So here's a video of it. As you can see here, our techs are prepping both vehicles to be put on the rack. And here's a previously installed TRD Pro Style Grill. We have tons of these in stock if you're interested in them. And we also stock the TSS garnishes that the 18s and newer require. This Tacoma came in with some Bilstein 5100s already installed on the vehicle. We're gonna throw these off and install a set of Kings on there. We're going with a 2.5 remote reservoir setup. Here you can see our tech installing the front kings and about to put on the Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms. The rear Adelaide system is already installed and we're putting back on the U-bolts. Switching over to the front passenger side, our other tech is installing the UCA as well. For the wheels on the Tacoma, we're going with a set of field nitros. They're in a 17x9 with a positive one offset in a black finish. The tires are going to be the 285-70-17 BF Goodrich KO2s with the white lettering hidden on the inside. With this setup, the front is lifted about 3 inches, the rear about 1.5.
And back over to the FJ Cruiser, the Bilstein 5100s are on. Also, the OME lift springs are on in the front and rear. The front is getting a zero setting with some 885 springs and the rear some 895Es. And here we are, torqued down a spec and about to pull the vehicle out for a quick test drive before we deliver it to the customer. We hope that you're enjoying the video so far and if you do so, please click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It makes a very big difference for our channel and for this video itself. We love seeing the lifted long beds. Pretty cool, huh? Drop a comment down below and let us know what you prefer. Do you like the short bed or the long bed more? And give us a reason why. The owner of the FJ Cruiser decided to go with some bronze fill shock wheels. That's S-H-O-K, not to confuse anybody. These are also in a 17 by 9 with the positive one offset. For the tires, we're also going with a BF Goodrich KL2s in a 285 70 17. And for those that are wondering, of course, both the Tacoma earlier and this FJ Cruiser do not rub with the current setup and the wheels and tires. In one of our previous videos, we had someone comment about the wheels having paint on them. It's actually not paint, it's soap and foam residue for mounting and balancing the wheels and tires. We actually wipe them down before we deliver the vehicle to the customer. That way, the customer knows that there's not a single flaw on them. Just wondering, do any of our subscribers own an FJ Cruiser themselves or want one? Comment down below and let us know. Thank you very much for viewing guys. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Also turn on that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our daily videos here at 88 Rotors. We hope you come back tomorrow for our next daily video.